gentlemen, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the AU build cost, filling you guys in with uh, what it sort of takes to build a car like the one that's in front of me now. So if you're a new viewer of the channel, thanks for joining in. It might be a little bit windy, I'm sorry. It's a very windy day today, but here is my uh, 2001 AU Falcon drift car. So now I'm gonna get an influx of new viewers, so I'm gonna do a walk around the car, show you guys what I've done. If you haven't seen the build series, go check it out. It's uh, been a fun little series to put together and it's just been a really fun car to build overall. And uh, I'm in love with it for what it is, <laughs> it's awesome. So before we go over how much it's uh, cost to build, let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you guys the car and what's been done to it and all stuff like that. So you see we got the full tick vid kit on her and uh, she's nice and low, looks very nice with the paint. Um, we've got some drift stitching at the back. You know, it is going to be a full-blown drift car. It's not even going to be on the street. So it's sort of just a, a bit of a hack looks-wise. So we'll start at the front end. So at the front end, we have a LTD Fairlane front that we uh, managed to get off Automotive Carnage from YouTube. So please go check him out. He's from uh, WA and he sent us his front end from a from a shitty old Ford that was all bashed up and uh, he needed the engine from it, I'm pretty sure. So he sent me this uh, front end for nothing. So give him, a, give him a follow, go give him a shout out. Tell him why... Uh, I sent you by and uh, go show him love because he's a great guy. So he sent us this front end. Uh, so it's the LTD front, which has the LTD grill. Not many of those made, but mine is uh, is busted. As you can see, it's cracked and uh, can't wait to smack a wall with this one. Uh, it's actually not in bad, bad, bad condition, but it's got a few dents and nicks on it. As you can see here, we got dents, we got dents there, all that crap. So for a drift car, it's perfect. Exactly what we want. Got the uh, Lamborghini Aventador style front lip there which is just an eBay generic three-piece lip that I bought off eBay. It's like 40 bucks. Up the front, we have the uh, AU House lock kit at the front, as well as uh, the uh, XYZ or SYC coilovers, I should say. I thought they were XYZ. The rears in the uh, donor car were XYZ, but the uh, fronts were uh, SYC, whatever they are. So it's got, yeah, it's got lock now in the front. Uh, we got rotor grids at the front. I uh, got the Tickford style skirts. Uh, interior, we haven't really done much. It's still pretty much standard. Should unlock it, eh? Okay, now that I've unlocked it, interior-wise, we haven't really done much. Uh, it's got the wood grain Fairmont uh, dash, which I really like. Manual converted it too, because it was originally an Automagic. You can hear the CD stack is having a bit of a fit. I don't know why. In the back here, we have a custom roll cage, which uh, my mate put together for his other car. Then we transferred it in here. So I still got to finish her up, uh, put some clear on it, but other than that, looks pretty sick in here. All right, guys, I just changed the setting on my GoPro so the wind doesn't fuck up the mic too much. But uh, here's the engine bay. So not too much done in here, literally standard, but apart from the extractors you can see on the side here. Now the exhaust is the extractors, goes straight through the side here and then it comes out with a side exit exhaust just under the side skirt there, probably can't see it. But um, I'll start it up and show you how loud it is. All right guys, I'm back as it was starting to rain and this weather is just terrible to film in. So I've shown you the engine bay, shown you the interior, nothing too crash hot, still got the standard steering wheel, want to put a uh, deep dish wheel and a bucket seat in there eventually with a hydro set up, so that's all to come in the future neons and everything i'll start it up for you soon so you can hear exhaust note uh there's the back side of the cage uh so still got to finish this on the rears it's got drift techs on it nothing hectic opening the butt so nothing much in here just got shit everywhere as per usual um, and we've got Warbro 25 fuel pump in there which we put in the last episode uh, with full size spare we've also got short and tail shaft with the t5 conversion uh, I've done a little lazy eyes at the front there to give it that chaser sort of look, the chaser vibes. I've uh, got the black on the grey sort of look. The factory colour of the car is the, uh, what's it called? The meteorite grey or me meteorite silver, I should say. Did the front with rattle cans and same with the uh, body kit. And if you are a new viewer, I forgot to mention, this is our donor car over here. So this had, uh, this was an ex-race car. So I hit a tree from being stolen. The roll cage actually saved the car from bananaing. So I'm parting this car at the moment. Most of the goodies already sold. As you can see how it's just sacked <laughs> because it's got no suspension in it at the moment. So yeah guys, it's just a rough sort of overview on my AU Falcon budget build. I've never really been into these cars. I sort of got into them as a joke. As you know, if you watch my channel, I'm sort of into like, you know, the RX-7 over there, the Japanese cars. Got the VL here, got the old school 68 Falcon there. So this is sort of a new sort of realm for me. I literally built this car as a joke. I'm telling you right now guys, ever since I've been getting into these cars, I'm genuinely starting to like them. They're actually growing on me a lot. Uh, they're so easy, so simple to build. Uh, and the simplicity of them is really, really impressed me with how everything just goes together the cable clutches and that because i'm so used to slave cylinders bleeding shit um yeah the t5 weighs nothing unless you put it in on my own just wrestled it in so what i'll do now guys is i'm just gonna pull the car in i'll sit inside the car and we'll go over how much it's cost the prices of everything we paid for this car that way the wind doesn't destroy us yeah see if we've hit our target if we've gone under i, I think we've done pretty well for what we've uh what we've tried to aim for so i'm really happy i know this style of car is very relatable to a lot of you out there so that's why i sort of uh got involved 
with this car as well as I wanted to do you know I had a lot of sponsors hit me up wanting to you know sponsor stuff for it but um, I politely declined because I wanted to do this with my own money show you guys that you know an average person can sort of do it you know without any sponsorships involved or anything just to, just to show you that just go out and just build a car in your driveway <laughs> go do it what's stopping you also how could I forget to uh, start it up for you and give you an exhaust note exhaust ends right there go back and watch a video series if you want to see the side pipe installation all that stuff now it is it is very loud right now it's actually not too loud on idle This is typical Melbourne, as soon as I stop filming the car when it's, you know, gloomy and rainy, it sudden comes out when I'm inside. So, uh, I haven't got my uh, mount for the windscreen today, so we're going to go handheld. So hopefully it doesn't uh, obstruct anything, guys. Hopefully there's no glare or anything. I'm just making sure about that with the uh, the app. There you are, guys. Say hello. So I've got my list here of uh, of all the stuff we've done to the car, including the price of the car. So first of all, we'll start off with the, the car itself. So the car itself was uh, 800 bucks. So we ended up finding that on Marketplace. I was looking for ages and I just sort of was kept, I kept messaging about the cheapest ones. Uh, this car here was... Um, I think I got it from Sunshine, from memory, if you're familiar with uh, Melbourne. I got it from Sunshine and drove it home on a permit. Um, so the car was 800, so I thought that was pretty cheap because uh, they were still uh, sort of going up at the time. They were around, you know, 1500, two grand. Uh, you can find for a grand or 800, but you just got to get on fast. Even now, you just got to get on bloody fast. Uh, so the wheels, the wheels were 200 bucks. So the front ones, so the front ones are Rotor Grids and uh, they have brand new tires on them. And I bought them from my uh, buddy Adrian. So thank you for that, Adrian. So 200 bucks for the front wheels. Uh, the donor car, the whole thing. So that whole, if you haven't seen that, that video of uh, buying that donor car, go watch it. It's, uh, it's funny because uh, we just sort of tear into it with uh, no context. So that car, that, that just sort of happened <laughs> at, a, at a great time. So... Uh, donor car was a thousand bucks, so I think we got a great deal because that car had the lock kit in it, the manual conversion, the roll cage, the front coilovers in it, the VCT motor in it. So we've got a lot of stuff. I'm actually parting that car out at the moment, and without even selling the engine, I've already made back that grand from parting out things like the diff, the coilovers, just shit like that, stuff that we didn't need for this car. And uh, I'm really happy about that. So we've made our money back pretty much on that, but I'm not going to count that uh in in the cost uh so the warbro 55 fuel pump that was 120 bucks i think that was from ti automotive website from memory so that was it wasn't too bad for for what it is um the front paint so we got the the paint mixed up from autobahn um so my buddy nick mixed that up for me so thank you nick uh usually they don't really do multiple cans because it takes a long time but uh he mixed up four for me i think it was like 30 something bucks a can and all together i think it was around 120 for the paint and it was a clear so with the fairlane front end we got the front end for free but we were missing a headlight so that front uh left headlight over there that was uh 70 bucks and that was from automotive carnage he sourced that for us so thank you again dj uh the front lip which is that like uh universal style ebay lip that was uh 40 bucks and uh we got the tail shaft shortened uh that was 50. that's pretty much it so everything else uh we've sort of uh pinch from the other car or just did with stuff I've had lying around like uh, the caliper paint and stuff like that for the calipers. I can't really think of anything else that we've actually paid for. So car, wheels, donor car, fuel pump, paint, fair lane headlight, front lip and short and tail shaft. So all together we are in this car for $2,400. I know that is a full ready, so we still haven't done a lock diff but I have that already and that came with the other car I bought so that's pretty much free. I reckon once we do the hydro setup, once we do bucket seat steering wheel will probably be in it for around i reckon three grand at the start of this build i i tried to aim for around the four grand mark was going to be the was going to be the limit and we sort of uh pretty much smashed it by almost halving that and we're very lucky to have the donor car um i still reckon you know with buying everything uh i still reckon we could have probably done it for under four grand but i was very lucky to have that donor car so you know get to know people in the automotive community and uh, you never know what kind of cars come up, what kind of deals you'll get. But yeah, I was very lucky and the car has been great. Everything's been good uh, from a bog stock automatic. I'll put a photo of before and after so you can have a look. Bog stock automatic Fairmont to, yeah, what's essentially a race car now, which is awesome. And um, I couldn't be happier with uh, everyone that's helped out. Uh, you know, DJ for kindly giving me the front end. You know, I was willing to pay for it because I wanted to pay for everything for this car just to make it a lot more relatable to you guys. And, uh, you know, yeah, and then obviously Pat for selling me the, the, the donor car dirt cheap. So thank you, Pat. 
really helped me out a lot. And yeah, so I'm really, really wrapped. So yeah, guys, I really hope that sort of inspires you to uh, just go out there and just build a budget. You know, drift car doesn't have to be a Falcon. It can be anything. It can be anything. If it has rear wheel drive, drift it. Uh, even though it's front wheel drive, put some Macus trays on it, send it in all wall. So I always had something funny I wanted to add into this video. Just to, it sort of just happened out of nowhere. And it was a good yarn. And uh, I thought I wanted to add it into this video. So uh, a lot of you probably know um, the channel Rex Rex H. So Rex H is like, I'd call him the daddy of AU content. Uh, he's awesome. I actually, I've been watching his videos for a long time. And I've never really reached out to him just because, you know, I'm not one of those guys to go, you know, hey man, I have a YouTube channel too, let's do stuff. I just, I I, I, I don't know, I'm just a bit, bit weird like that. So <laughs> I get a message on Marketplace because I'm parting out the track car next to me and it was from him. And he goes, hey man, like, I'm interested in the rear diff. And he goes, uh, in uh, for a collaboration on YouTube. And I'm not going to lie, I had a little bit of a fangirl moment. Like, I watch him all the time. And I, I, I never commented on his videos or anything just because, like, you know, same thing. Like, I didn't really want to just try and try and make myself, you know, known sort of thing. And, um, yeah, and he goes, oh, you know, for a collaboration on YouTube. And I said, oh, shit, like, you, you, you must have watched my videos. If you haven't watched him, guys, I'll go check. I know a lot of you probably do because he's, he's great. He's got, like, 73,000 subs or something. Unreal. And um, obviously, at the time, I had uh, already sold the diff. Uh, and I wasn't going to fit his car as well because he didn't read it was a uh, IRS one not a live axle one for his I was a bit like shocked that he um, had seen any of my, my content and uh, I messaged him saying like hey man fuck it I'm actually a massive fan like you know not to fangirl or anything over it because I know I don't usually fangirl but like it was good good to actually hear from him and and, uh, and then he messaged me going yeah man like I fucking love your videos I watch them and love all your cars and I was just like oh shit <laughs> like I was I was like holy shit like he's actually watched me that's fantastic and uh, I actually ended up meeting him on uh, last Saturday. So Turbo Tristan, uh, go follow him. He's a good channel as well. He hosted a big YouTube meet where we all got together, and I and he was like, uh, he was very very kind to invite myself along, and I was very flattered by that because you know I, I didn't think I'd ever get invited to things like this. So we had an awesome day. We hung out with the guys from Street Machine and uh, Full Boost. Uh, we had X Y not there. We had Clay Wong there. We had you know all the big guys, Ozzy Arvos. Uh, having a chat, meeting everyone, really, really, really nice people, and everyone was just so chill, you know, talking to all those guys that I watch on TV all the time, and, you know, and that they've said that they've seen my content, and that it's unreal, it's a great, unreal feeling. But I got to meet Rex, he's freaking awesome, I love him, and I got to meet Zach Baldy finally, I uh, love that kid so much, he's awesome. Definitely some stuff in the works uh, in the future with those guys, so I cannot wait to actually uh, collaborate with these guys and uh, and uh, make some cool content, so shout out to you, Rex, Zach, all the guys from Saturday, Scott from Burning Rub, the TV that uh, hooked us up with heaps of stuff from Raceworks. I'll get into that in a minute. Show you guys what they've given that to us. So try not to make this episode a full ramble episode. Let's get out. I'll show you what Raceworks have given to us. Uh, some stuff we're going to slap on the car. Some banners, stickers, shit like that. And uh, make the AU look a bit more like a race car. So here's a mighty beast right in front of us. I think uh, our next drift event uh, is supposed to be in a couple of weeks. But I'm on the waiting list for Vic Drift. So if I don't get into that, it'll definitely be probably keep a reading uh, November. I'd say November it'll be. If there is anything I have missed with this car, guys, please let me know in the comments because I am pretty useless sometimes with remembering things. But for now, I have a bag of goodies over here from Raceworks, which we're going to pull out and show you what they've given us for. Uh, oh, any car I can really use this for. So I'll put you guys on the tripod and show you the bag of uh, contents they've given us. All right, guys, so here's our bag of stir. Oh, shit, of stir. So I'm just going to empty it out on the ground here. Eh, eh. Oh, God. This is, look at all the stuff they've just like given me. Look at this shit. Look at all this. This is all stuff that they just started throwing at me. So in Turbo Tristan's shop, they had like a, um, just a stand. Oh, shit's gonna start blowing away, I betcha. They had a stand. They had the guys from CRC there. They had um, the guys from Raceworks. And yeah, literally, they had all this stuff there. They just said, yeah, they just said, take it, you know. And um, I, I, I'm a bit reluctant to take things. I, I, I feel so bad. But um, Scott started throwing shit at me at the end of the day. So... Um, yeah, I'll show you what we have. So in here we have, uh, it's like um, that gold sort of heat wrap. Um, you can probably see in there, you can't really see in there. So it's this uh, gold heat wrap for like firewalls and stuff. So I'll probably end up using that for the GE Patrol because I need some uh, heat shield on the firewall, which is good. Okay, well, it's this cool hat. Uh, sticker sheets, so I can put, you know, got the Aussie flag for the for the Falcon. I want to say, I want to say the C word, for the, uh, the Falcon. And um, got all this cool stuff. Uh, also gave us some banners. So we've got Raceworks banners, so I'll put that on the back. Uh, gave us some like, I think that's like garage banners or whatever. Uh, here we've got some uh, silicon pipe. So that's definitely gonna come in, in good use. Uh, this is like a four inch silicon joiner. I have nothing that has four inch, so maybe a future build. Uh, more silicon joiners, more stickers, uh, some fittings. 
even gloves. How cool is that? Uh, gave us this cool boost gauge, so I don't know. I think I might use that in the 180 because I need a new boost gauge in that car. This would be grouse. Some more stickers from the boys. Nice LED light. I need one of these because uh, all mine are broken. This cool tow hook is pretty cool. So this is definitely going on the uh, Ford. I've got to find a place for it. Uh, this is like just a radiator cap. I have no idea what it's going to fit, but we'll find out. Uh, this is like uh, just some sleeving. It goes over the uh, uh, over coolant lines or whatever. Heat proof fiberglass sleeving. Uh, some more gold uh, heat proof tape just to put around some uh, some cooler piping or whatever. Here we have some exhaust wrap. And uh, this is titanium stuff too, so this is really good. This will definitely come in handy for a future build. I might use it on a 32 when I get the new six boost and everything for it. Um, yeah, so this is all the stuff that they just just throwing at us at the meet. So thank you so much to the guys from Raceworks, uh, from Scott and all the other guys there that were just uh, putting on this awesome event for us. It was really, really cool. So two thumbs up for you guys. So please go give them a follow, guys. Uh, I'm going to put all their affiliated links in the description. So go follow Raceworks, go follow the boys, uh, all their channels and stuff. And uh, hopefully we can all collaborate in the future and make some cool content for the Australian automotive uh, culture. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so to end this video off, I'm feeling like, because I put half a tank of fuel in it, got the construction guys over there working, sorry about the bang. Uh, let's go for a drive. Uh, it's been a while, so let's go for a bit of a drive, just uh, locally and uh, just hear, hear her sing. All right, guys, seeing that they're banging away over there, I found my uh, suction mount and my other camera. So I'm going to put you guys on the door. I'm going to hold this one in my hand. And I'm going to go for a little spin so we get the exhaust note and the inside POV, BBC. So it's going to be good. So I'll put that on there, somewhere like there, and then get exhaust note and hopefully don't get into a police chase. I'm just gonna leave it to the camera on the side now so I can concentrate on driving. <laughs> Well, hopefully the footage comes out all right on the side there. Um, see the one wheel peel, holy shit. <laughs> uh, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad either, but I was gonna do two point of views, but it's hard to drive manual holding a fucking camera. Well guys, that sums up this video today. I wanna thank you all so much for uh, sticking around if you did to the end, and thank you if you've been watching this build series. Still not over, still gotta do the diff and just uh, all the hydro and all that stuff. Here you see I've got some race work stuff on it. See I've put the tow hook at the back. So if we get stuck in the sand trap, we get pulled out. Got the window banner on the back. Got the stickers on the side. Also put on the radiator cap. That's so now had the race works tick. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. It's very windy today, so I'm not gonna film much more. Hope you enjoyed this little build breakdown, budget breakdown on how much it's cost us. And Share me your results, guys. Have you built a drift car in today's market for, you know, under the two, three K, 
full manual, ready to go cage, everything. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your story. Uh, you know, message me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Show me your builds. I really love to talking to you guys and chatting and, and uh, talking cars because that's what it's all about. Without further ado, guys, take it easy and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.